السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back my friend to my YouTube channel Drilling and Workover This is Abdulaziz Gabr I am accredited instructor in uh, IADC in a, uh, IWCF full control and IADC will sharp I am also accredited instructor in IADC mod engineering for basic and advanced mod school uh, yesterday we have talked about the mod calculations and the volume of the volumes and the material balance uh, today inshallah we will take some examples on how to solve the calculations that any mod engineer can deal with on the rig floor so you have to pay attention and know how to solve the calculations uh, inshallah uh, number one is the dilution of the mud. How we make dilution to the mud? For example, uh, for example, if you have, if you are dealing with uh, mud weight like the high mud weight, you are in high mud weight making dilution with some water. Okay, so uh, in order to get the to make the solids to be less than the, what you want, or also if you had, for example, high mud weight and you are dealing in the next section with mud weight less than that the, the, the mud weight before so you have to add some base fluid base fluid like maybe water maybe oil base uh, maybe diesel in the oil base or something like this so this is the dilution so the first question calculate the volume of the sea water required to decrease the mud weight from 120 bcf to 100 bcf for active volume 500 barrels how to solve this question actually you have to know from the law which is v1 and which is v final and which is v2 you have to know also the mass final and the mass one and the mass number two if you need if you could define each one of them it will be easy question so take care about this uh, the seawater mud weight equals 64 BCF. So here you have 120 BCF. This is this is uh, the mud weight number one, okay, or M1 for example. And you have to add on it some water, which is M2. So number uh, 64 is equal to M2. And you have the volume number one which is 500 barrels but you don't know the final volume after adding the water you don't know it and you don't know which is v2 also because you don't know but you have you know that the final mud weight will be 100 so the first mud weight is 120 the final is 100 the v1 equal 500 and the mud weight to equal 64. So let's uh, let's go directly to the equations. Equation number one, V2 equal V1 plus V2. Okay, V total equal V1 plus V2. So V total equal 500 plus V2, which is the num which is equation number one. Equation number two, V total multiply by mod weight total. Mod weight total here equal 100. Okay, so V total multiplied by mod weight by total equal V1 multiplied by mod weight 1 plus V2 multiplied by mod weight 2. So 500 plus V2 multiplied by 100 equal 500 multiplied by 120 plus 64 multiplied by the V2. And from the both of those equations, you can get V2, it will equal 278 barrels. So that calculates the volume of seawater. The volume of the seawater is 278 uh, barrels, and this is the, how, to add, uh, how to solve the problem. Number two, example number two. You have two different weights. You have, for example, for example, you have a, a bit or tank has high mud weight and other tank which has mud weight less than that, okay? And you need to make a new volume with new mud weight in between both of them. For example, here, 
you have how much how much of each mod must be blended blended means mixed together to obtain 1000 barrel of 14 pound per gallon so the final volume that you need final volume is 1000 and the final mod weight that you need is 14 so this is the final weight and this is the final volume okay how many the, the available amounts or the available tanks you have 1200 barrels of 11.2 pound per gallon this is mod number one and you have 11 uh, 1200 also barrel of 15.4 pound uh, per gallon as i told you you need to make a mod weight in between the both of them so how much you will mix from this and from this one and how much you will uh, mix from this one to check for both of them so this is mod one has this is its uh, volume its uh, row uh, or its bound per gallon it means its mod weight and this is mod two okay and both of those volumes are not known but the final mod is the 14 and its volume final also is one okay so how to solve this problem the v okay let's go the v final multiply by the row final or mod weight final equal v1 mod 1 multiplied by row 1 plus v2 row 2 so the v and also the other law is the v final equals v1 plus v2 v final that you need is 1000 okay so 1000 barrel equal the volume of the first mod which i don't know okay and the volume of mod 2 which also i don't know okay so for example the v2 equal 1000 minus v1 and we will make substitution from equation number two to equation number one so the v final row final equals v mod one row mod one plus v mod two row mod two so v final as i told you it's 1000 multiplied by 14 which is the row final equals v mod 1 multiplied by rho mod 1 plus v mod 2 which is here okay equals 1000 minus v mod 1 multiplied by 15.4 so from all this equation we can get v mod 1 so that v mod 1 will equal 333.3 okay 333 barrel okay this is the v mod one and from v my v and you know that the v final the v final equals 1000 so equal 1000 here equal 33.333.3 plus v2 and from here you can get v2 which will equal to 666.7 barrels so this is so if you need to make blending for one barrel for 1000 of 14 bbg you have to add you have to add for example three uh, three hundred thirty three of mod 11.2 and uh, we will mix it with uh, about six 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 uh, of 15.4 volume so this is very important to know uh, example number three how to make weighing up to the mud with barite let's check the question how much barite is needed to increase the mud weight of 1000 barrel of 14 bbg to 16 bbg and what is the new system volume and what is the new system volume actually i gave you yesterday in the high mod weight there was very important uh, note that the one big bag of the barite increases the volume by 3.4 but how this equation comes let's check here we will know that the, there is will be a mod okay take care that there will be a mod of 14 bbg this is mod weight one and okay okay this is mod weight one 
and its volume is 1000 barrel this is v1 and the mod weight final is 16 bbg okay so where is mod weight 2 and volume 2 actually we will consider that the barite the barite to be added is mod weight number 2 because it is a new thing added to the mud. You have already volume of the mud and you will add something to it. So the something that you will add, we will consider it as mud uh, 2 with uh, with volume number 2. And from it, we will get the volume of the bar. So let's check about this. Here, the initial mud is 14, which is V1. And the mud weight of the barite is 35 uh, pound per gallon. Okay, so specific gravity. Volume number one equals uh, 1000. And the mud weight final is 16. And you have to check for the final uh, volume two. So here, VF or V final equal V initial plus V barite. That's right. And V final equal 1000 plus V barite. And substitute. Substitute one unknown into the mass balance to solve the equation. So the V, V final multiplied by rho final equal V initial multiplied by the rho initial plus V bright multiplied by rho bright. So 1000 plus V bright multiplied by 16, which is the final, <coughs> equal this equation and from all of this we can get the volume of the bride to be 105.3 and it will be added to the first one which is 1000 to get the v final the v final equal 1000 plus 105.3 barrels it will give you 100 1105 barrels of the uh, bride and the total system and this is how to know the number of sacks if the one sack of bright equals uh, 100 pound per sack. Now, oil based mud calculations. This is very important. This is very, very important. For example, you are dealing with mud or you have a program, a program that say to you, you need to have oil water ratio to be, for example, 80. 20 and you get you get some some mud from the mud plant which parameters are oil water ratio is 70 30 you need 80 20 and it comes to you from the mud plant 70 70 30 so how will you deal with this situation actually it is not a big deal you have to take a sample and to be sure that it is 7, 7, uh, 30, uh, 70, 30 before you use it. The oil water ratio, as I told you, oil fraction equals the volume percent of the oil as decimal divided by the total volume of oil and water multiplied by 100%. Water fraction equal 100 minus the oil fraction and the oil water ratio equals the oil fraction divided by the water fraction which is the oil water ratio so now we will take two examples about how to increase the oil water ratio for example if it is 70 30 v 80 20 and also we will take two ex another example how to decrease the oil water ratio by adding diesel or water according to the situation so, how to increase the oil water ratio in oil based mud? For example, you have 500 barrels of oil based mud with density 12 bbg. Okay? And oil water ratio is 60 40. Has the following results in the retort analysis. After making the retort analysis, we got this result. Water is 80, 20, 80, uh, 28 uh, millimeters oil equals 42 millimeters and solids equal to 30 millimeters here this is the pivot you have here water to be 28 okay and you have here oil okay the, i know the diagram is not correct but they're not big deal here the oil is 42 okay 
and you need what is the problem how many diesel barrels are required to change oil water ratio to 70 30 it is now 60 40 and we need it 70 30 this means that we are will add diesel okay we will add diesel right right so what is the final volume and the final mud weight, mud weight that after adding the diesel and how many barite sacks are required to increase the mud weight again to 12 dbg actually this is very important question and it is a comprehensive question for all what we will talk in the question, in the uh, calculations the solution this is now this was now the volume of the uh, water and the oil so after adding the diesel after adding the diesel and making the retort again there will be change in these volumes we will add what we will add diesel okay so by adding diesel the volume of water will be constant as it is the volume of water will be kept constant but the volume of diesel <coughs> sorry the volume of diesel will increase okay because you need oil water ratio to be different okay so but how much the diesel will be added you don't know you don't know so we make it as x as x because it is unknown parameter so we make it x so x equals the volume that is added of the diesel <coughs> plus the total previous volume okay so if we need to make a new calculations now this water is constant as it is this water is, will be constant but it's now according to x as the oil water ratio it was 40 it will be 30 okay so we will make the water phase will never change so 0.3 which is 30 percent 30 percent equals 0.3 here of the water of x this is 0.3 of x of the total fluid it's called 0.3 will be the same it will be equal to 28 uh, 28 milliliters so 0.3 x equals to 28 because the water oil the water phase is not changing so the x which means the new the new total volume will equal to 93.33 so this is the total so i will make subtract subtraction subtraction from the old volume and i will get the new added diesel for each 100 barrels so the number of diesel to be added will be equal to 93.3 which is the total new minus 42 plus 28 it will give you 23.3 barrels for each 100 barrels of oil based mud so now how how many barrels of oil based mud we have we have 500 so we will multiply this number by five so let's make a check the check of oil water ratio it will equal 42 plus 23.3 multiply by 100 percent divided by the total which is 42 plus 23.3 plus uh, 28 so it equals 70 percent so this new volume is is 23.3 uh, the total added the diesel as i told you it will be 23.3 multiplied by 500 barrels for each 100 so it will equal 117 barrels so with diesel mud weight equal 7 bbg so there will be a new total added diesel it will be 117 barrels as a total volume to be added okay now after adding this diesel okay the mud weight will decrease yeah, because this this is like the dilution 
So we will get the new mod weight, and after this, we will add some bright to increase again to the same mod weight. Develop a material balance equation V2 uh, V total multiplied by mod weight total equals V1 multiplied by mod weight 1 plus V2 multiplied by mod weight 2. Uh, 500 plus 117 of the diesel. This is the V total. <coughs> Sorry. Multiply by mod weight total, okay, which we don't know, equals 500 multiplied by 12 plus 117 multiplied by 7. So the mod weight total that we will reach, it equals 11 BBG. So now we have mod weight 11 BBG with 70 30 oil water ratio. But we need it again for to control the well to become 12 BBG. So we will add some barite. Barite equals inbound per barrel equal 1470 uh, multiplied by uh, mud weight 2 minus mud weight 1 divided by 35 minus mud weight 2 equals 64 bound per barrel. And how much barrels we know we need? We need the total number of barrels, which is 16. Uh, 617 so it equals 64 multiplied by 500 plus uh, 117 equals the total uh, this is the number of bounds divided by 100 bound per sack so the number of sacks of the variety equals three uh, 395 sacks each sack of them has 100 bound 100 bound this is the first question okay now we have another question if you need to decrease the oil water ratio in oil based mud for example it is 80 20 and you need it 70 30. for example you have 500 barrels of oil based mud with density 12 bbg oil water ratio 80 20 has the following results the water is 14 millimeters here and the oil here is 556 uh, and the solid is 30. How many water barrels are added, to, uh, are required to change the oil water ratio to 70 30? It was 80 20, now it is 70 30. This means that we will add water. What is the final volume and the final mud weight? And how many barite sacks are required to increase the mud weight again to 12 BBG? Take care because this is very important also. As I told you, we will check for the phase that will be uh, remain the same or continue or the same, constant, without a change. Now we will make, uh, we will add water so that there will be change in the phase of water. But the phase of oil will be kept the same. So if you make retort again, if you make retort again here, you will get the same amount of the volume of the uh, diesel. But you will get another amount of water. So, so the, the constant volume of the diesel, okay, oil phase will never change. It will equal 0.7x. Uh, where is X? As I told you here, if you see, there will be some water added. So when water is added, there will be X, which means the new volume, the new total volume of the fluid. So oil will be kept the same, but its percent will be changed. So 0.7X equals 5, 6 or 56. So X, which is the total uh, new volume equals 80. So the number of water to be added, it equals, this number of water that will be added equals 80 minus the first one plus the first, the second one. So 80 minus 56 plus 14, which equals 10 barrels of water to be added for each 100 uh, barrel of oil-based mud. And as I told you, how many, uh, to make a check also at first, after making check oil water ratio equals 10 plus uh, 14 this is water all this water multiplied by 100 divided by 10 
plus 14 plus 56 it equal to 30 percent which is good and you have already made the, what we want, we want so the total added water equals 10 divide multiply by 500 my divided by 100 it equals to 50 barrels of water to be added and the water mud weight equals 8.345 ppg so the total water add to be added is 50 but if we added water 50 barrels to 500 of oil barrels it will be making some dilution so the mud weight will be decreased so we have to make calculation to the new mud weight so by making material balance as you see here the total volume 500 plus 10 multiplied by the mud weight that we don't know equals the 500 multiplied by 12 plus 10 10 uh, okay sorry this must be 50 for example 50 okay this is 50 multiply by 8.3 which is the mud weight and from it we will get the mud weight to be uh, 1100 11.9 bbg so right and we will add bright as before so we will get the final to be uh, to be the number of bright that will be added it will be from here about what is the meaning the total bright to be uh, 32 sacks or something like this uh, thank you very much my friend for this uh, very interesting uh, lesson and I hope inshallah to, get to, to do a good job with you and if this video appeals to you please share like subscribe it's your channel not mine and I will keep you keep going with you inshallah in the next lessons thank you very much and see you later inshallah thank you